What's up guys, Ranger, and I'm back with another reaction, which is to the 11th episode of MLPFIM, which is uh, Party Pooped, I believe is the title, and I'm quite sure that this episode is going to be better than the last one, in terms of its story and the characters that it's focusing on, so let's go ahead and get started with the video, shall we? Uh, start the video on 3, 2, 1, click. Oh, ponies! And Spike's nowhere in sight. You look nervous. There's no reason to be nervous. Nothing to worry about. Making your tummy to beat it. Making new friends is always fun. New friends? They're probably just as nervous as you are. You've been planning the shindig for weeks. Shindig, yep. Nothing about these fellers. It's gonna be dandy. I love how she's still trying to, how she's still using what, what Cadence told her. In fact, Yakyakistan is so far north of the Crystal Mountains, no yeah, one has even been there. Imagine the look on Princess Celestia's face when she finds out we made friends with a Yak Prince. <laughs> Twilight is adorable whenever she's freaking out, although she's adorable all the time anyway, but. Whoa. Your Majesty, on behalf of all of us, I welcome. That's you adorable to background. Idea. Me honored. Yaks hope for a great friendship between ponies and yaks. Friends for a thousand moons. You must be hungry after your long journey. I sense mm -hmm. problem. We prepared a banquet of traditional. Wow, that looks food. delicious. If things got perfect, yaks get mad. Yaks always get mad when things not perfect. 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 This no tastes like yak food. Fake pony food make yaks mad. Well, there's somebody started digging a hole in the backyard. Okay, I'm going to cut the intro, but, um, okay, 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 okay. Again, I'm kind of sensing a bit of a resemblance to some people on YouTube right now. Not just YouTube, but how some people have the attitude that something is not perfect, they flip out. It kind of makes me think back to the whole, uh, Dink Dinky's Destiny deal with with Minty, some people thought it wasn't perfect because I didn't do it. You come into her house, you Them wreck. Yaks sure have a funny way of saying howdy. They're different, that's all. I got one too. Very <laughs> different. I think they broke my record for most stuff broken in under a minute. I mean, they even broke the trophy. <laughs> You had a trophy for that? It can be to have friends before Princess Wait, Celestia arrives. You've been taking lessons from uh, Spitfire, now, haven't you? Who read the seven-volume cross-index history of Yak Yakistan? I recommend it. Uh, uh, I, I had a thing. I did, I did. Did you know they live so far north of the Crystal Empire that it's cold all the time? Yak that yak fur to keep them warm. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what furs always for, Pinkie Pie. I know. How the never mind is Pinkie. Pinkie Pie, can you show them around town? Oh, flutters. You have to plan the friendship party too, but it would really help make them feel welcome. Don't worry, they'll be in good. Or run them out of town. That works too. Remember, we want to make sure Equestria feels like home. That means doing everything we can to make this place feel like Yak Yakistan. No problem. Good. Let's get out there and make some new friends. Yeah. Oh, right. Make you feel like Yak Yakistan. I'll bring the Humvee and uh, and the Abrams, the, so the Abrams things. tank. So me and my yep, sorry if that was if you typical. here in the barn during your visit. Applejack and I made hay beds like you're used to back in Yakistan. Man, I had Skyrim flashbacks this there. Perfect. You can snooze here all afternoon because you're going to need a lot of energy for my party tonight. <sighs> that wasn't so hard. Wait. This got Yak hay? Well, we didn't have actual 
pay from Yak Yakistan. Best to make it just like yours. Not perfect. Come, cousin. Let's go bowling now. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. What do we do? Somebody come into my house. I don't care. You come into my house and start wrecking. Start wrecking the joint. I want to hit you in the head, man. Okay, I have to admit, Angel actually looks cute there. Animals cute. Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh. These antlers fly. This not got Pakistani animals. Yuck smash. Hulk smash straight. <laughs> Hulk smash. Okay. Well, there's still other things we can do. I think. Okay, where's Thor? Whatever you need him, because I want to borrow his hammer. From the Crystal Empire to match your northern sensibilities. I hope you'll find them. Not nobody. No wonder nobody wants to go there. Please tell me that has thunder crap. Just like Yak Yak stands snow, right? Because snow is snow, no matter where it comes from. No, somehow I don't think so. This not Yak snow! Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> oh, Pinky. I admire her for trying. You know? But. Going okay? I just have an old-fashioned solution. It could be better. It's not very good. It's a disaster! Pinkie Pie, tonight's Yak Yakistan theme party is more important than ever. You'll make them forget all about this afternoon, oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> because if it's not perfect, oh, we're gonna smash Pinky everything. Is... And I'm not Pinky sure how much more smashing Pinky this dot visit can be. That's not working. I definitely will! <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Already, how far am I to this episode? Seven minutes, and it's better and more entertaining in its story than. I'm so glad Spike isn't here. Gummy! What sort of wisdom can you bestow upon us, almighty oh green one? to make your traditional yak yakistan cake vanilla extract balance very tricky uh. do you mind um waiting here for one moment yeah don't worry no that's totally not an anvil over top like of your head no totally not to at this point Pinky? where are you <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy did you find her Angel and I searched the forest, but... Wait. Aerial Recon turned up nothing either. <laughs> I searched the farm inside and out. No Pinkie Pie. But I did find a set of Granny Smith's dentures under the house. So, not a complete loss. She simply vanished! But the party... I am... We have left. Not what are we gonna going... Do? Okay, yeah, I'm mentally questioning that. Gummy! Oh! She wrote a note, okay. Don't worry, Thanks, Gummy. I'll be back in time for the party. Love, Pinkie Pie. If Pinkie Pie says she'll be back in time for the party, trust her. Don't worry. Out. We have to trust her, right? No reason to freak out. 
don't worry, Twilight. <laughs> when it comes to parties, I think she knows what she's doing. Yeah, she does. Totally. You're right. Let's just focus on keeping the yaks happy till she's back. Piece of cake! The cake! One bite and you'll be transported right back to Yak Yakistan! <laughs> Pony's oh. too heavy on vanilla extract. We've never needed a party so badly. Somehow, I don't think a party is going to help, but Buckshot probably would. Next stop, Crystal Empire. Okay, these two characters are here. I just had like and detective so vibes. My quest begins. I know what you're thinking. Why go to Yak Yak and stand alone? Cause I'm the punk twelve. This burden falls on my rump and my rump rope. <laughs> I wanna go to the party. I gotta climb the mountains north of the Crystal Empire. I love this episode. And come back with something authentic. Know what I mean? Oh! Always wear your seatbelt. Did we go the wrong way? Where's all the snow? Wait a minute! Are they? Wait a minute. City, end of the line, I'm afraid. All trains had to stop. Sheep decided to sit on the track. Curse you, sheep! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hey, Cherry Jubilee. Man, Cherry we haven't seen. Jubilee. Uh, hey, Kid Pie. I reckoned I eyeballed you crossing my way right now. Reintroduction ever. Have you heard of Yak Yakistan? Do you have any idea how I can get there? Mark your calendar, Missy, because this right here is your lucky day. I'm heading north to the Crystal Empire myself for a delivery. All right. Road trip. Me and the boys are powerful tired because we was up all night counting cherries. Hey there, wake up. Counting cherries? How many? 417,234. Yeah! And so, my quest Oh man, I love this inner monologue. I stare across the endless desert. Tell myself I will soon try I love this. to the homeland of our noble guests and return with a prize to make the best party they've ever seen. Know what I mean? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, crap. Who's driving? Oh, nobody's driving. Nobody's driving. Of course there's a cliff. There has to be a cliff. Hit the brakes! Man, if they pulled a General Lee reference right here, I would. Hit the brakes! Ah! Huh? Whoa! I was dreaming about a ravine. No. You think? Oh my gosh! Oh freaking! Oh boy. Oh, it's you again. You still can't play worth crap. Yeah, that's my re that was my initial reaction. You clearly have no taste. Okay, no, I mean the music is good. I'm just surprised Spy Spike is playing it. I mean, entertain you. I Oh, you loud mouth little idiot. Ah! I knew it wasn't possible for him to play good. Piano play itself? Music alive! We demand party! Party now, or Jack's no friend! No! Just a little Honestly, no, we don't need you. We leave now! Yak go to train! Return with more Yaks! We declare war! <gasps> Fine by me! <laughs> hey, Bon Bon! Where's Lyra? Hello, Pinkie Pie. What's this? <laughs> we panicked and tried to plan our own party. Oh, boy. It's... Rainbow! So panic fiend. The yaks are going to Skittles wrapped in a blanket. 
I wanted to surprise Princess Celestia. Now the only surprise is that I may have just started a war. That Ooh, beautiful scenery. Falling pony ravine. Down, down, down. Suddenly, we were rescued midair by the wonderful. Ha! Cloud chaser, Spitfire. The beat. Yes, the Beatles. And that's when I knew. Oh my gosh, the Beatles. Oh my gosh. The gateway to yet Thank you, Hasbro. And so, here I am. It was a major adventure that took most of the afternoon. Know what I mean? Cadence? It, the northern boundary of the Crystal Empire. Beyond lies Yak Yakistan. No pony who's attempted this climb has ever returned. Are you sure you have to do this? I do. Good luck, Pinkie Pie. I love how deep this is like making it. Whenever it's not really deep, it's so cute. Nice it's cool. The party. This isn't like her. I'm sure she's trying her best. Pinkie Pie's tougher than she looks. <laughs> right, but I wish she was. Plan here. B, everybody. I put too much pressure on her. I let Get every Pinkie to go cupcakes so on the X. Be here any minute and see that I haven't made new friends. I've made <clears> new <throat> enemies. <sighs> That's. Oh, great. The cupcake basement! <laughs> Hi, my name is Pinkie Pie. Who are... I'm for Yak Yakistan. You know, faraway land, lots of yak. Maybe heard of it? Whoa! Pinky has officially turned dragonborn. I love the helmet. She definitely looks like a no! dragonborn. No, what? The? Hi, Cadence. Bye, Cadence. Hi, Cherry Jubilee. Bye, Cherry Jubilee. Hello. I don't know your name. Is every pony all right? I can't tell if my eyes are open or closed. I think I can see a little bit. Ow. Whoa! Her party basement. Look at these. Pinkie Pie's made files for every pony in town. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it had their numbers. You know, cupcake reference. How cool is this? Twilight Sparkle likes vanilla ice cream, red balloons, dancing. That's right. She's afraid of quesadillas. Hi, Pinkie Pie, Pinkie. Oh, nuts! No! I'm all the way back where I started. Dummy, I was this close to helping Twilight befriend the yak. Now I just let every pony down. Look at him. <laughs> it's notes for the party she wants to throw for her folks' 50th anniversary. But they ain't nearly that old. Is already planning their 100th, too. And their 500th? I had no idea she worked so hard on her parties. She may be more organized than you, Twilight. But let's not get carried away. <laughs> I wish Pinkie Pie were here so we could tell her how much we all appreciate her hard work. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I love you, too! All of you! Oh. You're back! I tried to go to Yak Yakistan so I could bring something back. Oh, dang it, that actually got me. No, you didn't make a mistake. The cliff but I'm collapsed. A big failure. Pinkie no, you're not. Pie, you're not a failure. What matters is how hard you, you tried. Who else would have gone all across Equestria to plan one party? Yeah. You know, it was really hard. <clears throat> Every pony I met along the way was so helpful. I just wish the yaks could see how Most. friendly and wonderful Most. and great Equestria really is. Late. The yaks left on the last train. Um, no, they didn't. Trust me, <laughs> Aurora. 
the squeak. How? Never mind. It's Pinky. So, um, do we walk back up the slide or, or what? <laughs> Yeah, oh, stop here. Why trains not work? I never thought I'd say this, but thank you! Sure. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that! It's party time! Oh, y'all. Man, great. Wonder Balls again. Lyra and Bon Bon. I'm trying, I'm seeing Travis. <laughs> so I see Wow, Pinky. This came together quick. Even for you. What can I say? What I do. Trying to see all the background Prince characters here. Every time we tried to make something in Equestria <clears throat> feel like Yak Yakistan, we couldn't get it right. When I got back from my adventure, I realized something. We shouldn't try to make Equestria feel like your home. We should try to make you feel at home in Equestria. And that means showing you why we love it here. So you'll love it too. Ha! <laughs> More line of room bon bon. Hey! Pink Pony work hard to make Yax feel at home. Now Yax happy. No declare war. <sighs> oh boy! Pony <laughs> friends? For a thousand moons? For a thousand moons! Or at least until, you know, tomorrow. I am very impressed, Princess. <laughs> Just doing my best to spread friendship. And you did a wonderful job of it. You and your friends. <laughs> Big Yo. Pony, you understand Yaks now. Aw, come here, you. <laughs> Too much. Wow! Too strong! Okay, okay, okay! <laughs> <laughs> Anything with Pinky is great. Oh, man. Okay, that was a really, really cute, really good episode. I really enjoyed this episode. This was a great episode. Um, why won't the little charms work on an... Oh, screw you, man. Thank you, Windows 8 point... Whoa, what just happened to my screen? Okay. Thank you for having a seizure on me didn't appreciate it very much, but okay then. Now then, yeah, I really enjoyed Simpson. It was a great episode to be able to see... Oh, okay, I open. Okay. Um, it was a really great episode to be able to see... Uh, it, it was great to be able to see Pinky back in her element with planning a party and the links that she would go to to be able to try to do that, to be able to... Be able to what's happening here? To make, to make some pony feel at home and everything. It was great to be able to see that, and... It was also great to be able to see Twilight back in her flipping out moments, you know, and then to see Pinky. Um, I was just waiting for that moment whenever she was going, whenever she was going to go straight-haired Pinky on him, and <laughs> that would have been cool. But you know, um, but again, it was really this was a really really good episode. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, the story was really great. I mean, it was zany, it was comical, it was fun, it was energetic. And, I mean, it was just fantastic. There was just so much going on in the episode. You know, just the different zaniness. I mean, you didn't know at what level the zaniness would reach next with Pinky. And so, with Pinky, that's always a surprise. It's always a treat. And then the Beatles reference. Oh, my gosh. Loved the Beatles reference. Freaking loved it, man. And, uh, <clears throat> then, just like, I, I mean... I mean, I know that it wasn't an intentional, re intentional reference to Skyrim, but the helmet kind of looked like it, you know? And um, then the story was also great. I mean, the story itself, the moral, you know, trying to make somebody feel at home. Uh, <clears throat> show them, you know, why you enjoy it. I mean, I can understand that. I mean, it's something typical. I mean... You know, you try to make somebody feel more like their home whenever, when, you know, whenever they visit. And, um, you know, it's not their home. I mean, their home is their home. Your home is your home. And everybody has different, you know, living standards, different ways of living and such. And so nobody is going to live the same way. And so you can make somebody feel at home and, you know, they, you know they'll be comfortable, but still they won't be in their home. 
I mean, I guess that's where, you know, the term, you know, where the old saying comes in, the home is where the heart is. Um, but, I mean, again, it was, I mean, the story was really good, you know, the moral was good as well. The story was just great. It was wonderful to be able to see, to see, you know, to focus on the main characters again. And again, we got a little bit of a spike being an a-hole to a degree. Um, but, uh, again, I mean, I really love this episode. It was great. To, I mean, it was wonderful to be able to see, you know, Pinky back in her back in her element to be able to see her back in her party planning mode. And like I so said, just the zaniness, the craziness with Pinky, I love it. I mean, it's always so random and it's so well received. I mean, I absolutely love it. It's always a treat. And like the in, the inner monologuing and uh, one thing those two characters the first two characters on the right on the train right there I couldn't help but get like 1930s detective vibes from that I actually I really hope somebody puts those two characters together in like maybe like a piece of art that looks like 1930s um, you know like 1930s noir style detective thing I really want to see that and then Pinky as well like with the inner monologue you know it was just cool, awesome to be able to see that and then to, to be able to see the return of other such characters such as Cherry Jubilee and um, to be able to see you know some you know the returning background ponies you know just off in the distance you know it was great to be able to see them as well um, and uh, the new characters the Yaks they're okay they're, they're definitely not uh, characters that I would particularly uh, be interested really in seeing again because of how they came off, you know, during the first time. Um, it sort of goes along the lines of, well, if a character, if they, if a character can, I mean, if a character has good character development to the point that, you know, a character can get, get redemption and they can get it in a good, solid way, like with Discord, like with Luna, um, like with cranky um you know then it i mean then you know it's kind of interesting i mean it's it, it's interesting to see those characters again really interesting for discord and luna of course mostly interesting and uh i mean i would like to see some redemption with with uh with lightning dust later as well but for characters that sort of just come off as being an a-hole right from the get-go kind of like with gilda i mean she got redemption but I mean, <clears throat> again, like with Spike, she's not my most favorite character character in the show. Um, I can understand, you know, some of the aspects of of her personality. I can't understand that. Um, but again, you know, that aside, the yaks. Somebody, I'm waiting for somebody to make a yakety yak reference. Please do it if you haven't already. Do it. Go ahead. Got it. Okay. Now, <laughs> now, uh, again, I really love this episode. Um, again, some of the scenery was really beautiful, and, uh, we didn't get to see the new territory in terms of the Yakville, or Yak Village, whatever, very long, and again, like I said, it, the zaniness, how could you not love it? I mean, it, with Pinky, anything is zany, it's enjoyable, it's a treat, and the animation, again, with Pinky is so lively, it's so fun, and, 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 and energetic, and <clears throat> it's... A wonderful, wonderful treat, and so uh, I really I have nothing more to say other than just like I love this episode. It was a great episode. Um, it was a very I mean it was a fast paced episode. It was a fun episode. It was energetic, um, and again we got to I mean it, we got to focus on the main six again, which was a treat, and um, then we got to see some uh, a few callbacks from like season one, season two, and such. C c come into play which was wonderful and um, we also got to see some new characters that winter creature whatever that thing was that was more fearsome than anything I've ever encountered in Skyrim in the winter uh, ex probably except for the lurkers yeah lurkers here that thing here but anyway um, again I mean it was great this was a wonderful episode I really enjoyed it or rather loved it it was a wonderful episode. It was a fun episode, and again, I really enjoyed the Beatles reference, man. I love that. And um, so, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, guys. Th thank you again to everybody that worked on this episode. I'm so glad, again, so glad they put that Beatles re re Beatles reference in there. 
and the writing for Pinky and for Twilight was just fantastic. And then little cute stuff, you know, with you know with uh, with Applejack, with with Rainbow Dash, with Fluttershy, with Rarity, it was wonderful as well. And then the little background characters, you know, seeing Derpy fly off in the distance and Lyra and Bon Bon again, it was fantastic. So thank you guys again. Uh, thank you to everybody that worked on the episode. And thank you guys again for joining me. And I will see you guys again next time with the next video that I do. Take care.